Hi everybody and welcome to the inaugural World Tennis Day here in beautiful New York City where later on we have the showdown between Victoria Azarenka, Serena Williams, Martin Del Potro and of course Rafael Nadal. We've had tennis in Hong Kong and we're having tennis throughout the globe today. We're shutting streets down in places like Argentina to get the Tennis Tens program off the ground. Get the kids involved with the game throughout their entire career. There is so much going on today, and guess what? I'm about to go ring the NASDAQ bell. Can you believe that? And I'm gonna have some special guests. Let's go. Today, the tennis world comes together for the inaugural World Tennis Day. Alongside exhibitions in Hong Kong and New York, tennis programs across the globe have invited players to get their rackets out and their games on. The action in New York's Madison Square Garden with the sixth annual showdown includes world number one Serena Williams, Australian Open champion Victoria Azarenka, Olympic bronze medalist Juan Martin Del Potro, and seven-time French Open champion Rafael Nadal. Today, we go behind the scenes to show what makes the BNP Paribas showdown so special and help celebrate the coming together of the sport. World Tennis Day is here, and with it, a new tradition in tennis. Well, here we are at the NASDAQ with the USTA president, Dave Haggerty. Dave, the involvement of the USTA in World Tennis Day, just give us your thoughts. Well, it's such a great opportunity for us to be involved. I mean, having some of the best players here today in New York and Madison Square Garden, it doesn't get much better than that. And the Tennis Tens, the program throughout the world, the involvement of the USTA in that as well? Yeah, it's fantastic. Actually, this month we'll have over 5,000 cities that will have 10 and under tennis, as we call it, which is just a great way to kick off families and kids playing. Well, I'm here with Bob McCooey, who's the senior vice president of the NASDAQ. It's so exciting to be here. Thank you for inviting us. Oh, thanks for being here this morning. It's nice to have tennis kicking off a cold day here in New York uh, for a Monday morning at NASDAQ, and we're right here in the crossroads of the world. So it's, uh, it's, it's awesome to have tennis, which is a sport that unites everybody, to be here and uh, starting our market this morning. That's right, and we've got the tennis tennis kids here uh, playing in the next. Has this they're, ever they're happened before? Unbelievable. No, we've never had tennis going on right here in our studio. I never want to see them out on a court and uh, along with the world champion. Well, we're going to go from the NASDAQ over to the tennis tonight. Thanks for joining us, Bob. Oh, great to be with you, and thanks for joining us this morning. Yeah, we're going to ring the bell. What a great opportunity to be here in New York. Madison Square Garden tonight will be great. It'll be rocking with some fantastic tennis. Four of the top world players are here. We're just so excited about that. Tonight, we'll kick off about 5,000 events that'll happen all around the country in the month of March. Tennis participation is growing, and we're just excited to see tennis in the line right again. Well, how exciting was that? It was exciting for me, I can tell you. Now, before I go back to interview all the players, we're going to check out what's been going on behind the scenes while we've been here ringing the bell. We're here in New York and this is what happens in the background of World Tennis Day. The players are here, they're getting ready for tonight's showdown at the Garden and we're going to show you what happened earlier on in Hong Kong. Mayhem continues.
Okay, well what a great way to kick off World Tennis Day over there in Hong Kong. Well, the players are here, as you can see, they're getting ready for some interviews. I kind of bumped into some of them, but for you guys, I'm going to have a little chat with them. Serena, hi, welcome to New York. Thank First of all, world number one again, US Open champion. You know what it's like to play here in New York, but the garden, how special is it for you to be back there? It's great. I never got a chance to play the championships there, and with female tennis especially, it's so much history there, and growing up, watching so much history play. It's such an honor to be there, not only with great former tennis players, but also so many great athletes that were there. And of course, World Tennis Day, what does that mean for you? The global initiative to get the young kids playing tennis. Well, I think this is a start. So um, first, you know, first year, I think it's yep. happening. So yep. um, yeah, I think it'll grow into being something really big. And of course, you're playing Vika tonight, and just mm -hmm. it's gonna be a great crowd, and yeah. the enthusiasm of the New York fans that you love so much. Yeah, it'll be a great crowd. Um, the New York fans will be really great. And it'll be a good match. And Vika's such a great girl and great for the tennis. And it's, it'll be fun. I'm here with Vika Azarenka. Of course, Vika, beautiful and obviously great to be back here in New York. And what does it mean, World Tennis Day, for you? Well, it's incredible. I'm such an honor to be a uh, part of such an event. And it's been my dream since I was a kid, you know, to have an opportunity to play in the uh, Madison Square Garden and uh, to make it International World Tennis Day. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. Now, you're the Australian Open champion. You had a great week, obviously, in Doha a couple of weeks ago against Serena. Uh, what is it about the start of the season for you? Uh, well, I mean, I, I love to play. I miss the game, you know, a little bit, so I, I get even extra motivated. But uh, I felt the season started really well for me. Unfortunately, Brisbane wasn't the best, but um, I'm, I'm just excited about this year, and I can't wait to, to be competing again. Now, World Tennis Day, like we talked about, and you're from Belarus, and is it important for you to continue to grow the game? They're having a day there in Belarus and getting the 10 and under kids involved in tennis. Yeah, it's my biggest inspiration to to have more and more kids involved. Every time I go back, I, I do kids clinics with them and try to to, to bring more and more uh, uh, kids to play. And uh, it's, it's a great motivation for me to, uh, to have. And the tennis uh, is growing and growing. And hopefully, it'll, it'll, it'll be growing even more. And we'll see more people and more stars coming from Belarus. Juan, well, we've had an early morning this morning. We went and rung the bell at the Nasdaq and these crazy days, what, what is it like for you? Yeah, I'm feeling so, so excited to be doing these activities. Uh, this morning was amazing for me, a big opportunity to see how the market goes and I hope that the markets go up in the end of the day. And now I have the chance to play against Rafa tonight in the big stadium, fantastic. Uh, crowd, uh, it's going to be a very, very nice match for me. Yeah, you never played at Madison Square Garden. As you know, it's one of the great sporting venues in the world. Your, your thoughts about just walking onto that court, and you already talked about playing Rafa, but what it means to be in New York here? Yeah, it means uh, something too big for me. I'm the only fourth or fifth personality from Argentina who's going to be playing in, in this amazing stadium, only Bila Sabatini and any boxing competitors just be, been there in the, in the past and now it's my, my chance to to share the, everything with Rafa tonight and I'm so excited to be there. And they shut the streets down in Argentina for the Tennis te tennis Kids Day in there. I mean, is that amazing to you to think about that street being shut down? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I know it's the World Tennis Day tonight and we're going to play 
a fantastic match with uh, with Rafa. He's a great player, a great person, and in Argentina, everybody is expecting for for tonight. Rafa, first of all, it's so great to have you back on the tour. Congratulations for your last victory. But what does it mean to be here in New York at Madison Square Garden? Well, thank you very much. Now, for me, it's a, it's, you know, a pleasure to be back on the tour and you know, especially be, we'll be playing tonight in, in the Madison Square Garden. It's going to be an amazing experience. First time for me to visit uh, this one of the most emblematic arena in, arenas in the world. So I, I think we're going to have a very good fun. And it's special for you to play against Juan Martin, just because he's a good friend. And But the, the specialness of being back in New York, you didn't get to play the US Open last year, so yeah. it's nice to be back. Sure, it's very nice. That was a very sad moment when I had to decide to not come to to the US Open last last year in 2012. But no, we, here we are, and to play against Juan Martin is going to be a fantastic experience. He's a, Amazing player and a good friend. And the World Tennis Day, what that means for you to bring the little kids into involved in tennis, and yeah. obviously coming from Spain, you want to get them to come up as well. Yeah, I think it's, it's very important, no? and uh, the kids are the future. I think for the education of the kids, the values of the sport are um, a good education for for them. And you know, I always loved the kids, and I had a always fantastic feeling with them. Okay, so I made my way out of that room with all the photographers and the players and the cameramen and the people wanting pictures and we've made our way down here. And not only is it World Tennis Day today, well, it's the day that the Hall of Fame has decided to announce its 2013 inductees into its hall. You won't want to miss it. Stick around. Tennis Channel. It's a privilege to share this good news, well deserved by all the inductees. This year's Hall of Fame class will honor three men who have dedicated their lives and careers to building and growing the sport of tennis, and two extraordinary women who have achieved the highest level of tennis. We are fortunate to have some of these inductees here today. After successful playing careers, these two inductees set their sights on growing our sport and and develop impactful careers as tennis industry leaders. In 1970s, they worked together as co-founders of the ATP and have gone on to do so much more for the game. Please welcome two new inductees to the International Tennis Hall of Fame, Cliff Drysdale and Charlie Passarell. To be enshrined in the um, International Tennis Hall of Fame in Newport, uh, it has to be the ultimate honor anybody can receive in the sport of tennis. Uh, for me, it's, uh, it's going to be a, uh, an incredible, uh, daunting experience uh, to be there uh, alongside so many, of, uh, so many people that I have admired and, and idolized for so many years. And uh, uh, it's going to be a very emotional thing for me. Um, maybe I've done something to help the game, but I will say that the game has done a heck of a lot more to help me than, than I have for the game. So I have loved this game since I was knee high to a grasshopper playing against uh, the wall. My name was Eric Sturgis. If there are any historians in this room, you'll know that he was the best player in South Africa in the 40s and 50s. I was him and the wall was anybody else and he never lost a match. Here's a complete list of the Tennis Hall of Fame's Class of 2013. Congratulations to all. I'm here with the Chairman of the Hall of Fame, Chris Clauser. And Chris, it's a wonderful day, World Tennis Day, but also it's a big day for you. Big day for the Tennis Hall of Fame, you know. Only 224 people in the world who've ever picked up a tennis racket have been selected for induction. And today we got to announce five. We kept it till today. and.